Okay, and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Teamer Super Friends. So if you saw yesterday, we played Bant Super Friends, where we really discovered how powerful Bio Essence Hydra is. Um, I was really surprised by how good this card was. I didn't realize, you know, like, like that second line there. Whenever one or more loyalty counters are put on Planeswalkers you control, put that many 1-1 on counters on Bioessence Hydra. I just always thought that means whenever you activate your Planeswalker and add a loyalty counter on it with the plus ability, that you would also add loyalty counters to this. I didn't realize that if you just had a Hydra in play and you just cast a Karn and it enters with 5 loyalty, that that's putting 5 counters on the Karn and then the Hydra gained gained five counters i didn't realize that like whenever i was reading through the card at first I, I just didn't realize that interaction so um excited uh to to try it again because yesterday it went awesome you know we went 5-0 with our our Bant super friends deck um but you know like the list was a little off we talked about like for a while i didn't like the the two drop that we had in there the huatli's raptor anyway uh, Julian uh, donated for that deck and donated again for a Teamer Super Friends deck. So this is another donation deck that I I did not build this one either. This Julian put this together, basically switched out the uh, white for the red. You can see that the shell of the deck is very, very similar. Um, you know, it's basically the same. The thing that red gives us, instead of playing Teferi, we're playing Sarkin. And this looks pretty sweet. So, like, Sarkin's plus ability can make all of our Planeswalkers 4-4 four, four Dragons. This is going to be my first time playing Sarkin. Um, and so this looks really sweet. Yeah, if you only to submit a deck, uh, you can just go down below to the, like, the donate uh, panel. There's a lot of information about donating for decks. Uh, you can also um, make a purchase through one of my... Uh, <coughs> Sponsors, there we go, one of the sponsors over there uh, to get a reduced deck price or free deck, depending on which one. But yeah, information all, all about all that in the info panels. So we still got our Sahili kiora combos. Both of them start off with a ton of loyalty, which is good for the Hydra. Uh, we also have a Narset in here. This one's different. We didn't have Narset before. I like the Branch Walker as our two drop. I think that's actually a pretty, pretty good choice here. Um, it, you know, over we're playing Branch Walker instead of like Paradise Druid or Incubation Druid or anything like that. But I actually kind of like it. You know, it helps us smooth out our draws and it plays some good defense. It blocks pretty well for our other Planeswalkers. Tamiyo is going to be pretty interesting uh, if we, you know, if what we're really doing with Tamiyo for you know ticking up and naming Hydra or whatever. We'll we'll see how how Tamiyo works out. Um, but that's our that's our deck. So. Let's go ahead and try out some Teamer Super Friends this time. Bant worked yesterday. Let's see if Teamer does. Alright, let's go over to traditional constructed queue. Let me let's get Landwar off out of here off of here. There we go. Let's get this Hydra over here. Yeah. That looks cooler. That's gonna add add some luck to the deck. All right, we've got some fun decks uh, today. The two that I built there are the Abzan Citadel and the Bant Legends. I'm excited for those two after that, after this one here. Um, yeah, both both of those look really fun, and we'll see how those go. Yeah, this is such a strong set. Every, yeah, there's. So many cool things to do in this set. Um, I've been having so much fun the last few days with all these different decks. And this is only like day number three of us playing War of the Spark uh, decks. And, you know, there are still dozens of, like, cards to build around and deck ideas to do. And we're going to have... I love it. You know, we're going to have so much... Just enough material for a long time with the set. Nice, made a white weenie deck with Gideon. There you go, Canuck. Good choice. All right, so we're playing against Gates. This should be Growth Spiral here. 
which it is. We ha I have the fancy as its sleeves. I just wanted to use these. I've used the fancy sleeves quite a bit. I haven't, you know, so I got like these kind of sleeves. I actually kind of like how they look. They look like, uh, I like the, the the texture of how they look and stuff. Correct, Mercer. There's no hand smoothing in best of three, correct? That's just a, a best of one thing. Dragons. I wanted to find Narset. Narset would keep our opponent from drawing lots of cards. So we'll make a dragon. The dragon does not move. Your end has arrived. That's not so bad. Sure, the Sarkin got shocked, but uh, there was no no chemistry's insight there. That's good for us. Because maybe this is just a team or a reclamation deck and not a gates deck. That's just playing gates. Or maybe they're just playing gates for. There you go. That card, Gates of Blaze. All right, let's see what really cool spell we have on top. Uh. Hmm. That didn't work out. Attack. So Branch Walker doesn't do a ton for us here. And I wanted I would just basically want to put it in the graveyard to help dig towards um as can't you know as can't flipping i could see my opponent having another gates of blaze that so they just play a new gate and a blaze again when i play best of three i'm completely lost when it comes to sideboarding cards did you ever consider making a guide for certain decks really they're just doing that again what is going on That is a question I've I've gotten asked a lot. Lav on fire of like a sideboarding question like that. Okay, so they actually had a little bit of a reason to do that. Like, would it make sense from a perspective of, like, each deck? Man, Karn is so slow. But it's so much better than drawing another land. That, like, that... So basically going by each deck is, is pretty difficult to do. Or if there's just, like... Maybe just bullet Until points on just like sideboarding in general. Do not talk to me of so I don't think I'd want to do like sideboarding with Asper and Mono Blue and Mono Red and Sultai and you know it's just so many it's just too much. I don't know, I guess like what What are you kind of struggling with, or what? What could I? What kind of things could I cover that could help? <laughs> you like Teamer Superlands? <laughs> Ooh.
What was lost is now returned. So whatever card they... I mean, they we know they don't just have, like, all lands in hand, because they kept something over Shock before. Maybe it's just two shocks. What I feel the wrath of Scala. Get that out of here. Hey, Vincent. Welcome to the channel. First sub of the day, getting the hype going here. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Ooh. Found the Hydra. Found the Hydra. No. Okay. A curious choice. Give me that Narset. Narset, Narset, Narset. Dang. So when I played Bant Hydra yesterday versus Mono Blue, completely baffled on how we sideboarded cards in and out. Okay. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Joyv? Do you know your list yet for tonight, or are you still working on it? Sazari! Three month streak. Thank you so much, Sazari. Saying, keep it up, Todd. I will. Thanks for allowing me to continue to do this. Thank you very much, Sazari. All right, let's grab this. Narset. The time has come. Narset. Play Narset. Just kind of play this card they know about. See what we want to do after this. Those who cannot perceive beyond the veil of reality are lost. Come to me. Chandra's good. I was basically doing this because I was seeing if we got Kiora, because Kiora can like untap our Ascanta and everything. But Chandra's really good. But I can't play Chandra till next turn. Ugh. Chandra's so good though. Let's take this. Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, Serpents. Oh, I love them all. All right, we've got lots of loyalty out there. All right, so, hey, what's up, Max? Um, all right, so I'm not actually going to be activating Narset. Like, sure, we can go grab another spell, but, I mean, look, we got four Planeswalkers going. Like, we don't need to be that greedy. And we got Ascanta that we get to play and untap Ascanta with the Kiora. Um, that's fine. So, basically, I'm, I'm making it harder for our opponent to kill the Narset, right? Like, so, if they're... You know, they have to use, like, two burn spells to try to kill Narset kind of thing. Like, five, five loyalty is a lot over there. All right, we have that card. I forgot about that. Alright, let's see what Vivian finds. Meet my newest friend. Bios and Hydra, my newest friend. Lame. Wait. 
They can't cast a counterspell though, right? Don't they need... I think they need blue mana for the counterspell. I don't think they get... Um... Hey, welcome from Italy. Ciao. I don't think they need... Or so, I think they need to be able to like cast their spell. It's not like you can cast your Sinister Sabotage with mana of any color. Hey, thanks, Vincent. Thank you very much. Glad you got the Twitch Prime working. All right, so Kiora says, whenever a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield, you may draw a card. Uh, 25, is 25 more than four? Man, who even knows? It could be. Well chosen. Can anybody like tell for sure though? Surges, life thrives. I think I just want to play New Kiora. Let's do it. Seven, seven more counters on this Bio Essence Hydra. Why do I love Kraken? Just can't kelp myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kiora with the puns. I just can't kelp myself. Wow. Kiora with the puns. All right, how are we going to win? Oh, wait, not you. Cancel. You. Return. Yeah, just link your Twitch. You have to link your Twitch chat to Discord. Link your Twitch to Discord. Uh, just Google search how to link Twitch to Discord. Uh, once you do that, you have to wait. They update like every hour or so. Um, it doesn't just... It doesn't just automatically link so you have to wait a little bit let us fight oh come on let me turn my things into dragons i've never done that before no man i was going to turn my things into dragons all right counter magic Canopy, Crasis. Counter Magic, Canopy, Crasis. Get the three C's in here. Counter, Canopy, Crasis. So this is 69 out of 60, which means we need to remove nine cards. Nine's a lot of cards. I'm going to remove this Tamiyo. I don't know if I want to self-mill myself that much, like Tamio does. I'm a little worried about that. I'm going to remove the four lava coils. Okay, we're getting there. Um, so, fight with fire. Like, our opponent's probably playing Niv-Mizzet. <laughs> oh, I, I muted our opponent, so that's they may have been saying stuff. We don't know. We could take out... Branch Walker. I kind of feel like Branch Walker is important, but maybe Branch Walker is not important. Yeah, Vivian helps deal with Niv, but we only have the two Vivs. We have the two Vivs in the canopy. Let's take out one Fight with Fire, one Branch Walker, one other Branch Walker, and another Branch Walker. All right. I asked this a little bit ago, but how do you think Grixis is looking with the new set? Yeah, I definitely think it would be a tier 1 competitive deck. Um, the So I've played two versions of Grixis so far. Um, we played, you know, like two days ago and yesterday. Both those videos are up on YouTube. We did a whole lot better with the second Grixis deck, and it felt a lot better also. 
Um, so if you're going towards Grixis, I'd, I'd recommend checking out the second deck, like the deck we played yesterday, over the first deck right now. I don't need these Krasises. Yeah, I should have Branch Walker instead of Krasis. Okay, I should have kept I should have kept the two Branch Walkers in, and take out the Krasises. <laughs> you hate pi hi hate piloting Grixis, uh huh? Jelly Hydra. So worst case scenario is we play this, they So worst case scenario is they negate this and then they untap and play Wilderness Reclamation. I mean, even another bad case scenario is them just untapping and playing Wilderness Reclamation. I don't think it's worth it for me just to sit there and try to hold up negate for Wilderness Reclamation the whole time. I don't think I'm going to be winning the game really that way. I don't have other instant speed things to do and I'll basically never be able to play anything in my hand. Because we're already like one mana away from playing anything and then we'd be like a ton of mana away from being able to play anything else. I think that just playing my things out and having negate for like you know in the late game ha saving this negate is is the better the better play for me. It is it is really unfortunate that of course our opponent does have the reclamation there. That was our worst case scenario. But they could you know, just easily have not have actually had Reclamation, and then I'm just, like, sitting there not doing anything and just giving them enough time to find their cards and everything. Oh, cool, Bless. Okay, well, thank yeah, thanks for watching both the videos on YouTube. Thanks. Do you think a Grixis, a mass spell-centric deck with the new Ral could work? Maybe. I... I'm not sure that that's better than, like, the... Like, the things that, like... You know, like, beating a control deck with, with those kind of spells and, you know, going over the top of, like... Um, like, a bunch of explore creatures, for example. They get a lot of value that way I don't know I think I like Chandra more than Karn I'm gonna play Karn first I will defend my allies <laughs> I'll make use of that later We'll see if our opponent's playing mass manipulation. That'd be bad for us. No, I haven't tried is it combo with a new RAL. That's not really my kind of magic. I I won't be making an is it combo deck with a new RAL unless unless you know we have a donation for it. Um, I'm just not I'm not a big fan of those kind of combo decks. I don't like wilderness reclamation and that kind of stuff. I like uh, good long games of like mid-range magic, where both both people are playing playing cards and everything, and just like infinite combos that end the game right away.
Not my cup of tea. So I don't really know exactly what our opponent's doing over here. They haven't done... They haven't done a lot. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Like we've only seen some removal spells and some counter spells. We haven't seen like any kind of way to win. Like, are they playing Expansion Explosion? Are they playing Niv Mizzet? Are they playing you know Nexus of Fate? Like, just we just don't haven't seen anything from our opponent yet. It's definitely possible I don't need that land, but you know I, I want a land drop. How convenient, an excellent choice. All right, looks like we would have got a land drop anyway. Yeah, I wish I wish this was Branch Walker the whole time instead of Crisis. If we if we lose this game, I'm probably putting in Branch Walker, but then we'll fire, also kind of huh? see a little bit more of their deck. So this is basically just Let's exile the top card of my library. I don't get to do anything with it. Kind of no matter what. So we attack for 12 next turn if we play Sarkin. Make these all 4 4s and attack. Chandra. Your patience is rewarded. All right. Well, now we'll just play with this negate face up. Feel the heat of my flames. Let's attack. Might demands power. That's pretty sweet. Hadn't done this before. They're just gonna play a bunch of crushing canopies. Destroy all flyers. <laughs> Manamorpho settle. Is there still, like, you know, deal X damage to every flyer in standard or something like that? Well, this deck's pretty sweet. Especially with an opponent that hasn't done anything in, like, five turns. But Sarkin's cool. Yeah, we have a bunch of tapped planeswalkers. Mm -hmm. 
So double cast. So this is this is Rao combo for sure. So that's what our opponent's doing. They're trying to Rao combo us. So now we got double negate to protect the Sarkin. Man, I'm one mana away from playing this another huge bio essence hydra. Why would you attack first before activating your Chandra to see what the extra card is? Maybe it's a, it could be a third and gate. I I'm not actually yeah I'm not going to cast the the Hydra there. I'm going to I'm going to go to attackers, but I'm going to activate the Planeswalkers first though. Let's see what we get with them. I guess there we go. Ooh, with the Sarkin Mirror. hand is lovely. I would like to keep it. Watery Grave. Alright, what we got over here? Grixis, Esper. Ooh. Wait, so that's House Demir. This is House Azorius. What do we got? Dreadhorde Invasion? That's lame. I'm looking for more non-creature spells to be able to play with this Sahili. Why ditch the branch walker? It's the beacon. The interplanar beacon. Okay, maybe this is not House Demir. That definitely seems like House Azorius, though. This is really convenient. They just put everything up here. So, I guess they put their things in our sideboard, too, up here. So, Bio Essence Hydra is our one four of. I think everything else is, like, less than four. I mean, well, you know... Uh... Hey, we got a Hydra. We got a Hydra. For some top War of the Spark decks. Oh yeah, we don't have to discard cards. Damn, that's cool. Yeah, Tamio's any card.
Next turn. Yeah, let's yeah, let's block. Not exactly sure like all the the top war of the spark decks yet. Um, we've been we've been playing a bunch of decks on the channel here and having a lot of fun. If you haven't seen them, maybe like the last two days, check out the YouTube channel there. Uh, if you see if any of those decks catch your eye, we've played a whole lot of new decks. Alright, so we can keep them from... Or, like, we can kill the Bolas. I wish I had one more mana and was able to double spell there. But now... Yeah, now removal spell kills Tamiyo. Okay, well, removal spell would have killed Tamiyo last time anyway. All stories must this thing's end. definitely going to be a problem. That thing's really big. That's lifelink. They don't fight removal for Hydra though. Yeah, we played we played a Bant like the Bant Legends that we're playing later on. You're saying you want a Bant Super Friends deck? The Bant Legends that we're playing later on, that that has you covered. That Bant Legends deck is is like the Bant Super Friends deck. Uh, you can find that list on the Stream Decker page there. Tilt. So this is letting them just attack for 9 lifelink easily, but I think they attack with that 9 lifelink anyway. Well, that's annoying. Hopefully they're just shocking in for the chemistry's insight. No removal for Hydra, please. Hydra can win this. Uh, yeah. Nice, doesn't really matter. The lick of my flames. Come to me. So I could sit back and try to play defense. And just, you know, attack them for, like, lethal next turn. So if I attack, I'm only dealing 5 damage, or 4 damage, because then they get to attack, they get to attack with a 10-10 lifelink. So it's only for 4. I think I try to just protect Sarkin, because Sarkin can... Yeah, like, if we sit back on defense, the combination of Sarkin and the 4-4... Four -four, next turn can be, like, 8 flying... And then the Hydra, like, they have to chump, like, they, like, let's, like, saying they have nothing, which is obviously not likely, but saying 
They have nothing. We're attacking for lethal next this next turn and making them chump. Okay, well they had stuff. I will consume you. I don't know what I can get now. It's in my deck. Okay, so we are dead. Canopy can take out Dreadhorde Invasion or Nicobola, so that's a that's a good card for us. Replace Branchwalker with Negate. Let's try this. All right, we're going to need a couple more lands. This is a great curve, though. Sahili, Karn, five mana, Planeswalker. But we're going to need lands. Dope. If I hit the land drop there, I was going to canopy the Dreadhorde invasion. We hit the land drop. Okay. That's inconvenient. I kind of want to just not play... I kind of want to not play a creature because of like, enter the God Eternals and stuff like that. Nothing is ever truly lost. Doesn't really seem like our opponent has counter magic. Get this thing smaller. 
Okay, they do have counter magic. Long I was wanting to get that thing smaller so that then I can Vivian kill the, you know, like then it turns into a 1-1 one -one and then my Vivian doesn't die, but I guess we'll have Vivian die here. There are greater battles to fight. So I can go Sahili plus Kiora. Every no one oh. not All right. dead. That's out of there. Yet. No. Ooh, not going for Vivian, okay. Going for lethal for next turn. Is there a way to make multiple blockers? You can't stop nature. All right, so we're gonna Sahili. Kiora. Then we can untap and have Disdainful Stroke available. We need this to resolve, though. My pets are hungry, and you look like lunch. Dang. Yeah, I was hoping their removal was enter the God Eternals also, and not cast down. Ah, so close. Almost stabilized. So close. So close to stabilizing. Just one more turn, and we have that. But we're taking exactly lethal. We needed one more turn. Got punished for bringing in Disdainful Stroke instead of instead of keeping in Lava Coil. You know, if we if we just have Lava Coil there instead of Disdainful Stroke, we're fine. Yeah, that was a tough game. Got punished for bringing in Disdainful Stroke. It couldn't counter anything. I could have also just not minus one to grab Disdainful Stroke. I could have just minus two with Karn and made a, made a token to block. Instead. I can, I can do that. Forest Land War Elf. Alright, I'm in. What's our turn two? What are you doing on turn two? Overgrown Tomb? Ooh, that's... I'm not sure about that Overgrown Tomb. I think I would rather play another Llanowar Elf. Attack with this one. And go Stomping Ground. Yeah, Grixis Control V2 went very well. It, yeah, it felt really good. It went, you know, went really good. So I was still going to be able to play Karn here. I, I liked trading the land or else to slow them down, but then obviously that removal spell slows me down again, which is annoying. But that's okay. You're going to be last into the harbor. For some reason, they still didn't make Our the hint of the harbor. 3D art. Yeah, it's the most recent video on the YouTube channel there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. There's the link also. I 
fight with a dragon, sir. Behold! Are you certain of your decision? I guess I should have ticked up first. Now they know to give me Sarkin, but they're probably going to give me Sarkin anyway. Should have ticked up first. I will be better prepared next time. Huh. I will call the dragons. I'm surprised they gave me Vivian there when I already had a circuit in play. How the balance comes. Not surprising. Kind of waiting on, on Hydra if they have like removal for like the other things. Like I don't want them to like hostage taker my Hydra kind of thing. Or Chupacabra Hydra or anything like that. Alright, looks like we're playing Hy Biosyn's Hydra now. No one knows the wilds like I do. I summon you. Man, Zargon's pretty sweet. Zargon's pretty sweet. <laughs> Just don't worry about this 5 mana 15 15 trampler over here. <laughs> yeah, with new Vivian, they could flash in Hostage Taker and take Sarkin. Yeah, cause Sarkin would be a creature. Alright, well, if they finality three more times, my Hydra would, would then finally die, barely. The wilds are my shield. Yeah, Vivian's still legendary. You cannot cast down Vivian. Alright, so we're playing against Zoltai stuff. Let's get these disdainful strokes in here. I think I don't want Narset against them. I guess Narset does stop Hydroid Crisis from drawing a lot of cards. That's a thing. That's a thing. I do want the Branch Walkers. So if I, if I bring in Disdainful Strokes, what am I cutting? Everything just kind of seems like cards. Maybe I get rid of Sahili? Hmm. Narset does not stop Explore. It only stops Hydro Crisis from drawing cards. Doesn't stop Vivian. Doesn't stop Explore. Doesn't stop Find Finality of getting more cards back. Anything else? It would just be Crisis. I'm going to take out one Sarkin, the Masterless. And one Kiora. Correct, yeah, you can still use the abilities while they're dragons, yeah. How do you feel about Vivian plus one in this deck? Um, it lost you a game because it couldn't hit anything. Yeah, it's not great. Vivian's mostly there. And honestly, this is maybe a matchup where I sideboard out Vivian. Vivian's there for, like, good removal against... Um, 
you know, against flyers and enchantments. The tick up is, you know, basically look for Bio Essence Hydra. It's kind of about all the tick up does. Alright, Branch Walker, look for red mana. Find red mana. Realize red mana is not going to come into play untapped next turn. Which is sad. Alright, just crafted the final card for Mono Red Crazes. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. Oh, Joy, if you may have answered my question earlier, I'm sorry, I didn't see it, but did did you have the Gruel Dino deck for later tonight already, or are you still working on it? Graveyard. So I could shock to get Llanowarolf in play. Probably worth it. <laughs> yeah, we have a mono red, a mono red mid range deck with Hydroid Crisis. I know what new card goes in. Well, I mean, three mana Domri does. I want that card, but I feel like we're gonna find other lands. Because I was planning on playing Chandra, so my turn before drawing that Lava Coil, I was planning on playing the Chandra and ticking up and looking to see if we find another land. We have six over here. I'm just gonna keep it, even though it doesn't let us. I mean, they they are sitting on three mana. Sargon will be awesome later. For you. Dang, top card was not a land. So I've used one cast down so far. No, Mashandra. Mashandra. <laughs> Attack. <laughs> Graveyard. Kept on top. What? I was not expecting that. So they hostage shaker my Hydra, have both things attack, Sarkin. If they just play Explore Creature, attack Sarkin, I have to chomp. Or no, I have the Bio Essence Hydra. Okay, yeah. Okay. Fire with Fire does a lot of damage, but so does Kiora. Kiora puts seven counters on this Hydra. Ah, sun in the sky, 
shine on my skin. Great day to fight. Come to me. Now I'm going to have Kiora untap the Hydra. Post combat. <laughs> they just blocked with the branch walker. Trample. Trample. All right, victory. We are now two and one. Team or super friends doing their thing. All right. <clears throat> yeah, Bio Acid Cider's cool. Sarkin's cool. I like this more than the band version. I like I like this version with uh, Sarkin. Sarkin's pretty sweet. I'm not sure if it's better. I don't know if Sarkin's better than Teferi, but I, I like playing it more. This is more fun. Um, <clears throat> still have pretty good removal with Coil and Fight with Fire. Also. Steam vents. Well, Grixis is, was our loss. We lost a Dreadhorde invasion earlier. I think I use a removal spell yet. I think Esper's stronger still. Um, Grixis needs some work tuning and everything. But as far as Esper and Grixis, I feel like Grixis is the is still the stronger deck. Alright, so we can Sahili and Coil this turn. I love a good challenge. This should be fun. Have them restart with this Dreadhorde invasion. I do not know if this deck is good in best of one. I don't know. I've not tried it. Yeah, this, this is our first time trying it now. Alright, so plan is to <clears throat> try to build towards 10 mana. And fight with fire upstairs. Who are you to call me? <laughs> Magnificent! Kill them with a fight. Kill them with a fight with fire. We need nine mana. We have six right now. Really, Tamio? I 
I'm saying really because our, our opponents just played multiple Angrass Rampages where it would have been nice to have this first. I am Tamiyo. It is an honor to meet you. The storied past holds our future. So we're at five cards in Graveyard. We need two more to flip the Escanta. So I need one land drop and a flipped Escanta. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, put this graveyard to help flip the Escanta. To the library. I guess I want a Sahili more than anything else. It's either Sahili or Branch Walker. There's only one other Sahili in the deck. I guess I named Branch Walker. No, there's no negates in the main. It just it lets you choose all your sideboard cards also. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. That can't help you now. All right, they lose their two life. Hopefully they draw a brick. They draw a land, they die. Okay, Vivian dies here. They drew a land that basically if they did not draw a counter spell, they're dead. Alright, moment of truth, did they draw a counter spell? You can't stop nature. Either we're dead or they're dead. They did not draw the counter spell. Boom. Okay, so I want to definitely want this crushing canopy. It seems like we need more disenchant effects in this deck, kind of overall though. I think that's the the one thing about this sideboard is we don't have enough disenchant effects. We kind of just have you know six early room, six spells for like aggro decks with removal, and then six counter spells. That's our entire sideboard. So it's like we we need more we need more crushing canopies basically. Is what I'm saying. We need more ways to kill enchantments. I want all of those. And this time I'm going to not bring in Disdainful Strokes and keep in Lava Coils. So I brought in a gate for Branch Walker last time. Then I also like brought in Krasis and I cut Fight with Fire, but Fight with Fire was really good there. Maybe I shouldn't cut fight with fire. Yeah, four shivan fires is overkill. Yeah, we we don't need four shivan fires, and I'm not a huge fan of cannonade in the metagame. It's great against mono white though, and I could see definitely see how mono white would be a, a big problem for the deck.
Yeah, if you have expansion, you can't have 11 mana, copy a kicked fight with fire, and deal 20. I, I don't think this deck really needs expansion, though. It doesn't take advantage of it very well. Whoa. That was weird. Red, white, heroic. Um, I feel like it's still missing some stuff. I'm not sure exactly what. You know, I haven't played it. I've played against it a couple of times, and it hasn't been the... It hasn't been, like, the... the As impressive as I thought it would be, I guess is what I'm saying. I've been... I thought it was going to be better than, like, a, before playing. After Until after playing. It needs a little bit more card advantage, basically. I just dropped my chapstick. There it is. Found it. Feels like it needs a little bit more staying power, a little more card advantage. Uh, maybe going Jeskai and having Dive Down and like a couple of Planeswalkers, like the Teferis. I don't know. It's just going like. Only red, white, throw the heroic stuff together in a deck. And see how it is. I'm not super impressed by it. I think that it. I think it's going to need a third color, and it's going to take like some time of people like really playing it and and fleshing it out to make it pretty good. Something is going wrong with arena here. Is this happening with other people? I could see that with Esper Angels. Uh, Gideon is a really nice card to add to Esper Angels. Esper Angels is like a kind of deck that has like, you know, a, a 115 cards that you could actually play in the 75, and so trying to figure out which ones to cut is a little tough. All right, we're back. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. Will we? That is bad. Do not mistake grace for weakness. What's better between Liliana's Triumph and Angrath's Rampage? Uh, Angrath's Rampage. The ability to get rid of Planeswalkers and everything. Cease this! Should have played the Hinchlin Harbor first. That was convenient. Now we can triple block. Keep an open mind. Let's get rid of that thing. Our deck is humming. And this is where Dreadhorde Invasion gets kind of bad. Because now... <clears throat> Every story is an opportunity for new data. Give me the Sidra. The past is never... The Tamiya's been impressive. Tamiyo has been better than I thought it would be. I, I have been pretty impressed by Tamiyo. 
that life loss is starting to really matter now. This study is I think over. I think there may be more mythics than normal in this set. You're saying this set feels mythic heavy. There's like 15 mythics is the normal amount that you have in a set, and I think this one has more than that. It does have 15? Okay, I thought somebody was saying that it had like 18. It's only a 6-6. Six, six. Not super big. But that should do it. <clears throat> we got to keep it alive though with the negate. You know, they didn't turned out they didn't have removal soul for it anyway. But Vivian will add five loyalty counters to the Hydra. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Kill Bolas, and we are now three and one. Sahili took over that game. Yeah, Stream Deck are working again. Oh, we got to reset because it, <clears throat> uh, whenever it closed out, we had to reset. I'll just take a second, though. All right, well, we're just uh, resetting here. I uh, want to just do a quick plug here for one of my sponsors, Movement. Movement Watches is a watch co company that was started by um, some college kids that were like, why are really nice watches? Why do they cost so much money? We don't have that much money to buy. And so they're like, let's make our own watch company. And so they did. And so you can get really nice watches. This is the, I have the blue with a brown strap. So instead of having nice watches in like the three, four hundred dollar range, theirs are in like the one hundred dollar range. Um, if you go through my referral link there, use coupon code TOTSTEVENSMTG, get 15% off your movement watch purchase today. Also sell sunglasses. If you make a purchase, you get a free donation deck as well. So uh, check them out. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Like the branch walker, branch walker early to protect Narset. Ah, a token deck. Good thing we do have those fiery cannonades. And uh, the side, Brad. All right, good. It's a three-two. 3-2 matches up against 1-1s. One Never mind. 3-2 doesn't match up anymore. Yeah, Deckmaster is fixed. Yeah, link the watch company again. Movement right there. You have the, the classic blue with the brown strap is the one that I have here that I really, really like it. It's, I think, about 115, I believe, if I remember correctly, on the store. So I would like to play Karn so that my like next turn and then be able to play Hydra, but if they just attack out at Karn, then you know, that didn't didn't really do a lot for us. So I guess I guess the plan is fight with fire this turn. Next turn Hydra, 
And then after Hydra, start dropping walkers and growing Hydra. But we could be much. If I have to light the way, I will. Man, Johnny's great in this deck. Give up those creatures vigilance, put counters on them. Jeez. With me. This is gonna be trouble. This is gonna be trouble. Cards are we taking out? Vivian's basically only good against Conclave Tribunal that the opponent could have. Fire with fire can like we can you know we can get to like if we if we actually work this out you know we could get to the spot where we're actually kicking fight with fire if we stabilize we don't need all of them though. Do I need a branch walker? Oh no! Ah, uh, make some kind of sound that I'm running out of time. I was still sideboarding. I ran out of time. No, so we're playing our first 60. No. I, mean, I love turn one land war elf, but we just... All right, we just need to draw. Like this is a really good hand if we just draw. Um... Yeah, we just start drawing our planeswalkers. I shocked in there so that we could play Sahili or Narset. No, we wouldn't have been able to play Narset. Just a Healy, but we would have been able to play a Healy on turn two. We would have drawn it. We definitely cannot afford to be slow, so I like having the Lanor Elf. Coil a stupid 1 1. We saw how much those 1 1s killed us last time. Keep them from venerated Luxodoning again. I don't know what what the best deck is. We've we've had a lot of success with different decks. I don't know which one is necessarily the best deck. Together, we'll create great. The Gruel Aggro that we I... played the first day. Um, in particular, like if I had to choose one, I'd probably choose that one. So, right, you know. We live to fight another day. Do you rest? Replacement for Vivian and Karn? Yeah, you, you can replace those things. Um, just other planeswalkers. You're gonna want 
You're gonna want Planeswalkers to go with BioS and Sydra. Could play more Tamio. You know, just play more Tamio, Narset, stuff like that. Just play other Planeswalkers. You're good. Bio Essence Hydra with Soren would be obscene. A dragon does not lose. Yeah, you can play another Sahili. Absolutely. All right, so here comes March of the Multitudes for three. It's gonna be tough to beat. Wish I would have sideboarded. Disappointing last game to not be able to sideboard, but I don't. I don't know if we're really winning this matchup. Our deck is the the exact kind of deck that Selesnya tokens preys on. Light shall always conquer darkness. Alright, so we can just clear the battlefield up. Two, 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 three, one. But they, you know, still have three cards. We have none. And they get to draw. A familiar taste, but one that grows no... Green White Johnny looks awesome in this deck, though. Really like that card. That's a really tough matchup. Definitely unfortunate that we didn't get to sideboard. Also unfortunate that we had, you know, 11, 11 lands. After keeping the five lands, you know, kept the fast start that hoping to draw spells and, you know, drawing six, six lands and, you know, less than six spells. That was not ideal. <laughs> they drew like one land too many there, yeah. Might have drawn, you know, four lands too many, but... Oh well, uh, this deck was really fun. You know, like this is real similar to the the band deck that we played yesterday. Uh, I liked I liked this deck more. I liked I thought this deck was more fun. I thought our sideboard was worse than yesterday's. Uh, I think we need more some more disenchant effects. Um, basically, basically just just that. I think we like four lava coil and three shiv and fire and four or sorry four lava coil three fight with fire and four shiv and fire is just way too much. Just don't don't need all that. Um, so like two Shivan fires could become two crushing canopies, or like there are probably other things. Like I would want some some planeswalkers in the sideboard. You know, like maybe another Narset, um, another Chandra. You know, just just other. Just don't really need all these Shivan fires, basically. Maybe not another Chandra. I don't know, something else. I'd kind of like look through the teamer cards. Um, I'll just make it three crushing canopies for now. But maybe a couple more planeswalkers to like whenever whenever you don't need these removals. Like if you don't like against Esper Control, you don't need Lava Coil or Fight with Fire. That's seven cards to take out. I, mean, I guess we do have like the six counter spells though. So actually, maybe you just don't need more planeswalkers. Because that matchup, Bios and Hydra isn't really the best either. That you could you could take those out and just kind of go, you know, Planeswalkers plus Counterspells. 
maybe some some other kind of cheap threats to bring in uh, against control cutting essence hydra. Maybe not though. Definitely more crushing canopies. So it, I like you know crushing canopies awesome um, in this meta game in particular. So taking out a couple shivan fires for those sounds good. If you're playing one of these for ranked, which one would be better is a question. I don't know. We had more success with Bant yesterday. But this this version felt better. I think that really the you know you, you need to customize the sideboard a little better. But I liked our main deck here more than yesterday's main deck, for sure. The other thing is just four lava coil, three fight with fire, maybe just too many of these burn spells also. Maybe some other like mana creatures for turn two, like incubation druids or um, paradise druids. I wasn't as happy with branch walker as I thought I was going to be. I could certainly see playing, you know, five of these spells and two druids. No, you don't need thud for hydra. Hydra just kills them anyway. You, you don't need thud. So like two incubation druids and like get rid of like one of each of those to kind of help you out maybe maybe not though it was a very small sample test that's an that's another thing to think about it was very small sample size maybe not though maybe the removals like removal does play well with Sahili, of course i'm not sure Okay, um, there we go. That was Teamer Super Friends. So if you're watching this video later on, hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching Teamer Super Friends, and I will.